Hi guys, Nexus from Viverniax here with a new taming video. Today we will be going after the Megalosaurus. They can be found here on Ragnarok, but also on other maps. Here they mostly populate the carnivorous cavern dungeon, but can also be encountered in the northwestern area called Viking Bay. Basic rule to remember when taming Megalosaurus is to always do it during daytime, as these creatures are active at night, when their eyes glow and their combat prowess is significantly increased, making them practically untamable and very dangerous. On the other hand, during the day they can be usually found uh, curled up, sleeping, and when woken up they are slow and weak. We are taming this level 150 male, and we are not building a taming pen yet. Instead, we will utilize the large bear traps, craftable from level 31, in order to slow them down even further. For taming, we will be using the long neck rifle and tranquilizer darts. We lay the traps in line, and as they are going to charge at us, we will walk backwards over them leading the Megalosaurus to get trapped while shooting. Once they stop pursuing you and turn around to flee, this means uh, that they are about to pass out, go after them and keep on shooting until they collapse. When using Kibble, the Megalosaurus does require more taming food than other creatures, because they restore a higher amount of uh, food value from each bite making it uh, only a little better than mutton. This means you will also have to wait longer before feeding them. At this point uh, you have to build a small holding pen around them, but make sure to do it before the night falls. Around half past 8 in game time, they will wake up regardless of their torpidity levels and will become deadly fast. But actually it's just the progress on starvation that we care about, so this is to be expected. Take them down again, so the food stat continues to decrease. Preferred taming food is the superior kibble, but you can also use meat. And as stated before, mutton in this case is a really worthy replacement for kibble. Depending on your server settings, you may have to starve them over more than one day, so repeating this whole process. However, remember that when they wake up, all items in their inventory, for instance narcotics, will disappear. Once tamed, Megalosaurus can be ridden with saddle, which can be crafted from level 57. They will continue to follow their sleep patterns, but can be forced to be woken up or fall asleep. They have a sleep depth stat that will raise when they are forced to be awake during the day. Once it fills up, they will attempt to go to sleep. If prevented, their torpidity levels will race until they pass out. On the other hand, at night, they are really awesome, fast and strong. They possess the ability to carry creatures in their jaws. This applies even to flying and some aquatic creatures. This ability may even be utilized for taming purposes, as it only causes minimal damage and the creature stays locked in in its jaw. This however requires a second player to shoot the tranquilizers, as when dismounted the Megalosaurus will kill the health creature even when set on passive. Aggressive creatures may still attack the Megalosaurus while being held, so keep an eye on its uh, health. 
And that's all. Hope you've enjoyed this taming video. Feel free to leave a comment or a like. Also, click on the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on more Ark Survival Evolved fun. Thank you for watching and see you next time.